Anytime you give a gift to someone that you've taken some time to think about and you've really put some effort into and you, you offer that gift and they reach out and receive it and they, they tear that paper away and discard the bow and throw it to the right and to the left and they dig into that package and it opens up to them and they see this beautiful gift that you've, you've purchased for them, that you're giving to them. What do you expect to happen in response? What do you expect to hear? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, I, I love it, thank you so much, I appreciate this. You expect some expression of appreciation, not that you have to have it, it's just the normal thing when you get a good gift from somebody you wanna say, thank you. How long has it been in your life since you said thank you to Jesus for what he did for you? How long has it been in your life since you showed him some appreciation? How long has it been since you You've nestled up to the heart of God and said, God, I just want to thank you so much for loving me and sending me that gift that had my name on it and the package of Jesus and him dying on the cross for my sins and rising from the grave for me. It's, it's, it's my gift. And I thank you that I've received the forgiveness of my sins, that my name is in the book of life for eternity. I thank you that I don't have to worry about where I'm going to go when I die. I've settled that issue. Jesus, I just want to say one simple phrase to you. Thank you. Jesus. I believe we may do well to practice that right now. Can we try it together? Thank you, Jesus. That should be something that comes regularly from our lips. Notice what the writer says in 2 Corinthians 9, 15. Paul the Apostle, let's read it together. Thanks be to God for his, what? Indescribable gift. Paul could not think about what Jesus had done without expressing in words, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift.